We will talk about five most common cause of skin growth. First and most important is nevi. Nevi affects almost everyone. It means it affects 100% of population, world population. What is nevi? Nevi also known as moles and it is growth of melanocytes and melanocytes are skin pigmented cells and when they grow as a clusters it creates nevi and most common cause of nevi is sun exposure and genetic has big role. Nevi usually benign it means it's not cancerous but some of them can be cancerous and we will focus which nevi is cancerous because it causes melanoma if uh, nevi will become malignant it causes melanoma it, it is skin cancer and which nevi have a risk of melanoma if they are large if they are larger than six millimeter they they are called atypical nevi and they carry risk of malignancy if they have irregular borders if they have irregular shape, if they wearing colors within the single mole, it means single mole can be with different colors like for example brown or uh, blue or darker or skin color. So they can wear colors within one mole, it risk factor of malignancy. Uh, and if they uh, change shape over time importantly or if they are growing uh, and if they change shape it risk of malignancy so and such, uh, it's better to remove such atypical uh, atypical moles and atypical nevi it's important and what is treatment most of nevi never become cancerous so you can be um, you can be calm in most cases but in case of atypical nevi or larger nevi, which creates aesthetical discomfort for patients, surgical removal is effective, laser treatment is effective, and sometimes surgical shaving in, in, is effective also. Second most common skin condition, skin growth, is skin warts. Skin warts is infection caused by human papilloma virus. You can see skin warts like this. And their skin grows with different shapes. They can be just bumpy surface and smooth surface, and most commonly they are uh, cauliflower shaped. And they are around w less than one centimeter diameter in most cases. Uh, they can be developed almost everywhere, but usually they are on hands and feet, and usually it affects children and adolescents. Uh, although it can occur at any age, especially if person's immune system is weakened, it can uh, develop at any age and and almost anywhere. And we should remember that skin warts caused by pap human papilloma virus, and it can cause also genital warts, but different strains, different strains of of same virus. So same virus is human papilloma virus, but different strains. Genital uh, warts are caused by different strains, and skin warts are um, developed by different strains. And most of them strains which causes skin warts is not malignant. So most of uh, skin warts never become cancer. I almost one hundred percent of skin warts never become cancer and what is the prognosis what will happen in future within two years all almost every um, words will disappear itself so in most cases no need any treatment and also you may notice these black spots on words and it is it's still words and it's part of words it is just clotted blood vessel inside uh, inside this ward so it can be part of ward black spot inside ward and what is the treatment salicylic acid creams for example over several weeks uh, will help to remove warts or uh, cryotherapy or surgery but usually cryotherapy is very effective and cryotherapy is used 
uh, often, but in most cases, no need any treatment. Uh, and skin wars is contagious, it spreads very easily with direct contact or contact on subjects which are uh, contaminated with the virus. And third most common cause of skin growth is seborrheic keratosis. Seborrheic keratosis affects usually elderly and in elder population it affects around 100% of elder population. So seborrheic keratosis is very common condition and also it is known as age spots or senile spots and what it is is overgrowth of keratinocytes keratinocytes are type of skin cells also usually it develops on face on back on chest and arms uh, and it's how can we describe them we can describe them as dark spots on skin it's very common among elder people and they can vary in size but usually several centimeters in size uh, more than one centimeter usually and some exposure ha has its role and genetic has its role it's very benign in nature and never become cancer but may resemble melanoma skin cancer it can look like cancer but it's not cancer in many cases so seborrheic keratosis is totally uh, benign uh, co uh, benign condition and what is the fourth most common cause of skin growth is molluscum contagious molluscum contagious is very common also it affects usually children and how can we describe it it's rise bumps on the skin they are smooth and pearly they are white in color and often small dimple or pit in the center uh, usually they are smaller ones they are two to five millimeters in size and uh, uh, they, they are caused by virus this virus is molluscum contagiosum uh, virus and often they appear on face abdomen armpits and neck they are totally totally benign also and uh, they, they are called also also water warts water warts because they resemble water uh, water field blisters that's why they called uh, water wars and also they spread easily in moist environment especially on pools where children can swim that's why uh, it, it, it's another idea that uh, it's called water wars because it spreads easily in water uh, results in several months no need any treatment but if treatment required meaning if if it's aesthetic or cosmetic problem then cryotherapy surgery curettage and topical applications sometimes uh, is needed and fifth most common cause of skin growth is cherry angioma and cherry angioma affects almost everyone after 30 years old also so it's a very common condition and it is also known as senile angioma and it is bright red dome shaped bump on the skin which is around five millimeters in size and it appears on trunk arms and shoulders in different places of the of our body it can develop uh, almost everywhere but most common areas are trunk arms and shoulders and sixth most common cause of skin growth is skin tux it's very common also uh, and we, we should say about cherry and angioma also that they are very benign and no problem and no uh, they can be forever they can never disappear but they will not cause any problem they will not mm, become malignant or such thing so they are totally benign and also skin tags is very common condition you can see it's skin tag and what is skin tag it's collagen fibers with blood vessels and uh, enveloped by thick skin that's it and usually they are attached with uh, thin stalk it means they have such stalk and they have such growth it's skin tag it's the idea of skin tag it's very common condition also it affects also almost uh, everyone in uh, in adulthood and in 
uh, senile period of time or, or, or in when they are already elderly so it's very common condition it's more common uh, in people who have obesity friction insulin resistance and genetics also what is treatment freezing or cryotherapy or burning or surgical removal are effective they are also totally totally benign and does not cause any problem uh, these are the five most common cases uh, most, most common um, skin growth which affect most of population thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my video please support me support my channel and subscribe and like videos thank you very much bye for now